All right, so in this video, we're going to cover the Ajiro website. Got pulled up here. We're going to go over the different tabs along the top here and see what each one does. We'll break them down. Uh, in the scorecard tab, you have add driver, other, remove a driver, driver history. So you just click add driver, real simple. Put in the driver's full name, last four of the social, submit it, return to Ajiro support. Uh, if you want to remove a driver, just go through there, select whatever one of your drivers you wanted to remove, and go back where you came from. And a little blank screen there. And if you want to go see your driver history, show you your drivers when they were added, updated by whatnot. Um, and under the score scorecard, there's not a whole lot. They have some stuff that's coming soon, if you will, but this has been under construction for who knows how long. Uh, it gives you a little bit of information on how often inv invoices are paid. Um, where you can go to update in progress jobs. Like if you're out on a job and you have an issue, there's a phone number here to call, press option one. Uh, direct deposit here. If you need to sign up with Bank of America's pay mode X, that can be a pain. You have to, uh, well, I'm not gonna say have to, cause some people will say, well, no, you don't, cause I didn't. But if you wanna make it easier, go get you a business tax certificate, business name, and send it to them and set it up that way. And it'll go a whole lot smoother. Okay. Um, you have to have background checks for um, all your members. So that's gonna have to be submitted. Here, the under the scorecard user guide, if you click that, there's a little pop up and it's got some information that, uh, like, how do you use the scorecard, how you run custom reports. But at this point right now, we'll get there um, if we can. So, how do you run reports? So, you can get to the page by clicking on the run custom reports link in the quick leak section on the scorecard page, except there is no quick link section because it doesn't work. So kind of ignore that contact information here again, jobs in progress, same kind of thing. Uh, the provider advocate group, pretty much useless. Um, billing, tech support, chat, chat seems to work fairly well. Um, if you have any damages, damage claims, anything like that. Here's your contact for that. And then we'll go next into the, let's do the dispatch info. So here in the dispatch info, you're gonna be able to see active dispatches, which is where we're at. Select the PO, we'll just look at that. This is gonna show you an active dispatch. Active, I think, usually means something that's gone on in the last 48 hours. I think that's what they classify as active. So you can see information for this one here. Um, you can update in progress jobs. That's just gonna take you over here where you log in with your username and password. And then you have service guidelines, which we'll get to load here eventually. It'll load. I just have the slowest internet in the world. So it did load and it's returning a error page. So we'll just move on from there. Um, we'll include in here as well, account management. So here you can manage users. You have no users. So click the add button. If you want to add a user, um, go to my account. This is going to show you your username, user type, you want to change your password here there's your email security question name a favorite pet you can put a security answer in there and submit it uh, let's cover about us as well just going to give you a breakdown of some information about the Jiro. and then we'll hit resources here this one you can see the service provider handbook which is going to be a pdf um, 
we'll do that and just take a quick look at it. It just kind of gives you some basic information about being a service provider with the Jira. Nothing fancy. Um, this is the direct link for the direct deposit. I'm just going to tell you about how to get with PayModex here and sign up. You can go on there online or do a call toll free. I would go online. Gives you terms and conditions, which I'm sure is pretty boring. Um, nine pages worth of boring, but be worth reading. If this is a insurance company you're dealing with here, it's a game and you have to learn the rules. If you want to play the game and be good at it. And then you can go to a Jiro blueprint, which will load eventually, I'm sure. There it goes. So the blueprint loaded and you can go through here. Get some good information, I guess, you know, a lot of it's um, towing related, but there's also some jump start procedures, stuff for the pop out doors on specific cars. And they do add stuff here occasionally. You can kind of see how to deal with the lug bolt covers, stuff that you might not know already. A lot of Ford um, electronic vehicle tips and stuff like that. Honda, a lot of it's geared towards electronic vehicles, but there are some uh, stuff that applies to both electronic and non-electronic uh, towing procedures for Lamborghinis, Lincolns, Maseratis, McLarens, Porsches. The Rivian, Volkswagens, Volvos, the new Wagoneer. So they upstate this stuff occasionally. Uh, as far as what we're going to cover in this video, I think that's going to take us there. Let me just go through account management, um, dispatch, and before we looked at scorecard, we looked at that's really the, if you will, stuff that you don't really deal with too too much when you're on this site the stuff we do deal with a lot here and the only reason we really come here is for billing and we're going to go over that in the next video so if you found some value here just if you want to like and subscribe that'd be cool if you don't totally get it um if you're currently not using towbook and you want to check it out check out my towbook videos and there's a link down below where you could sign up for uh Tobook if you want, and I get a free month of Tobook, and you get to use Tobook, and it's awesome. All right, thanks for listening, guys.